My wife told me to use the power tools, so I'm going to take this here drill and strip this here wheel. I'll also have a nipple driver and a spoke wrench just in case. So let's take a look here. We can see that the spoke is right at the flat of the nipple. And we're gonna start loosening off our tension with the drill on the non-drive side because it has the least amount of tension. So let's give it a go. And the first nipple, <laughs> and the first nipple is not working out so well. It seems like it's seized in there, so I'm gonna have to use a spoke wrench and start loosening. Use the nipple driver, really take the tension off that one spoke. And the good news here is that we can see that the non-drive side spokes are a little on the short side. So this will be good for the upcoming build. So let's try loosening off a nipple just with the nipple driver and we can. So back to the spoke wrench, we'll just start it up, get a little bit of that tension off. We'll just keep doing this around the wheel a little bit. And you can see they're a little bit looser, so let's try out the drill. There we go, no problem. That one spun right off. We'll just keep going around until we do encounter a problem. That one was good. Let's see here. Keep going, not too bad. Well, now we found our next problem. No, it was loose. Wow, you see that? That's salt. <laughs> All right, so back to the spoke wrench. And I guess uh, we have to work hand in hand with them. I don't think there's any way that I'm gonna be able to do this just with the drill. There we go, there's another problem. I don't really care about these nipples because I have so many others and if they're not coming off very easily, it's because there's corrosion there and I'm not gonna reuse these anyway. So that one was really corroded and... Let's see if the spoke wrench will get it. It does. It's pretty uneventful, so I'm just move along gonna keep going around the wheel again until we encounter the next issue. And here's a little close-up of the nipple driver that fits into the drill. Now of course I could lay this down on my table but it's, it's really hard to film that. So it's so much easier to just show it to you the hard way and then you can come up with doing it the easy way on your own. Now the one thing about doing it this method is you actually have to have this particular bit for a drill. And I'm not sure that they're readily available. It's, it's one of those things that the older wheel builders just kind of collected and I've never seen another one. So I'm glad I have the one I have and as my wife has demanded, I'll put it to good use. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, we had one spoke there that was a problem, but the spoke wrench fixed that, and we'll just keep continuing along the wheel. Now, here's a question. Is it really faster to do it this way, or is it faster to just do it the old-fashioned way, using the spoke wrench and nipple driver? I suppose you could just go around with the spoke wrench a couple turns, loosen everything off, make sure it'll loosen. And instead of the nipple driver, you could use the drill, but I don't know. I find that it, it's a little bit on the difficult side to fit the bit into the nipple slot. And it's a little bit heavier than the nipple driver. And by a little bit, I mean a lot heavier. <laughs> but anyways, we'll do it this way. We'll stick to what we've committed to and see how it works out.
to write off. I'm just going to use the nipple driver now. Oops. It's a little bit easier for me. Pretty sure my wrists are getting sore. Here's a seized on nipple and we're going to see how the impact driver works on that. And of course nothing happens other than shining the top of the nipple. So I'm just going to take my trusty spoke wrench and it spins it right off. And here we go. The wheel is dismantled and it's just a matter of time now where you just separate the spokes not a big deal usually I clean them but they're not really that dirty so um, I'm just not gonna bother at this point well I hope this helps you out if you ever want to try this method um, I doubt most people can because those drill bits are almost impossible to find and I'm gonna have to conclude that I can't strip a wheel solely using power tools. <laughs> I have a video where I strip a wheel in 11 minutes. You can check it out right here. And I'll catch you on the next one.